Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your full moon reading for Friday the 5th of June 2020. It's 15 degrees in Sagittarius, so I have picked a significator card for this reading. Now it is a lunar eclipse, so what this means is the sun, earth and moon align together and it creates a shadow over the moon. So it's a lot of things hidden around the 5th and um, it's about our internal realizations, having those aha moments, just getting that thought that, wow, is that what it is? That kind of moment that seems to be forever separating your lives into the before or after. Now, while the lunar eclipse is about big internal changes, we also have a solar eclipse on the 21st of June, which is a little bit more obvious. And it is about our egos, our external self, it is about the outer physical world changing around us and this is um, all about taking what we've learned from the lunar eclipse on the 5th and making those changes in our lives so we will be a little bit uncomfortable it will take us out of our comfort zone and it's going to make a different path for everybody which will be definitely life changing so now we've got the lunar eclipse squaring Mars also this brings a lot of um, anger to the surface, so you could lose your temper around this time. So be careful how you speak to loved ones. And we also have um, opposite the lunar eclipse, we've got Venus, planet love. This is going to make us feel a little bit lazy and dreamy, a bit careless with money and unsure about love. Now if you're dating here, Taurus just make sure you don't lower your standards just for the sake of being with somebody make sure it's for the right reasons because things are a little bit foggy around this time if you're coupled well then a lot of tension may arise during this period and um, it's just because the moon is about our emotions so it's about um, our moods or our needs maybe we're all on different pages now and that type of energies Venus the planet of love also goes retrograde so it's about um, difficulty in in receiving love and affection or giving love and affection and this could be due to financial issues that we're having as, as a, a family maybe old friends or lovers may reappear or you may relive a past life experience just in order to sort out a karmic debt and uh, on the more, a more pleasant note we might have destiny encounters the quite possible you could find your soulmate around this time so they're just within reach but these energies are sort of like a love hate type of energy because of venus squaring mars it's increasing our sex drive our libido is going through the roof so you've got to be careful if you're single not to make the wrong choices it could be very risky for you and uh, just because you're a little bit impatient because of lust do it for the right reasons and make sure it's someone you have feelings for in a healthy relationship there's going to be tension this is going to be testing for the healthy relationships as well and uh, they may be relieved through more exhilarating sex, uh, sexual activity now but in a difficult relationship it's going to build up the tension a lot of frustration could be expressed and it could be that aggression that comes through as a love-hate union so having said that well, I'm going to have a look at what your cards here are telling me so spiritually it's something about what you believe in here Taurus there's something that you're defending something that means a lot to you and it's something that you believe in and we'll find out what that is as we get further down the track but it's something that you need to energize and bring out into the open which will be around the 21st around the solar eclipse now on a, me a mental capacity maybe it, you may feel like it's costly to do this but I feel like um, there's something you enjoy and you've got to accept it for yourself. You will come to a realisation this is something that you like. Uh, you don't have to worry about what others think. It's not there 
life journey. So maybe you have to be um, coming across direct and, and use the most direct way that you can. So whatever this is um, uh, relating to, you need to be um, take take the leadership in kind kind of a way. So use the, the more direct way to put this out there. Now it has something to do with the sun, which is about ego. So definitely uh, it's going to be happening around the twenty first. Now the sun we have the mountain with it, so. This is about obstacles to achievement. So maybe you're trying to achieve something and you're trying to find the most direct way to get there. But it's costly, perhaps. Um, well, there's some blocks to happiness here. Now, we have the tower as well in the reading. And this is um, established success. So you have some obstacles, but... Um, the sun is going to help you get through it, the solar eclipse. So this is high status achievement here, uh, Taurus, and established success that's coming through. So we'll go on a little bit further with the reading. Now we have the Dreamwalker, and this is your beliefs. This is something that's coming through your dreams, the, the collective good and illusions that you may be having, because the moon is about illusions. I'm just going to read a little bit. From the book so bear with me okay so the dream walker when the dream walker is your ally here taurus dreams really can and do some true still there are two kinds those of the small self and those of the divine spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone and all you need to do is ask and it will unfold like magic beautiful you also play an important and unique part in the divine dreaming of the world. When you ask, is this dream for me, that serves a greater dream, the most beautiful vision for your life serves the highest good for others too. Just the act of asking will immediately provide the answer. Now the dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions, observing the truth and celebrating the waking dream of your life that results beautiful it's a beautiful message so something about an established success or established business that's coming through something that's high status for you here Taurus and it's beautiful now we have the honeymoon card so it doesn't necessarily that mean that you're getting married and going on a honeymoon this is about uh, traveling possibly to another country so whatever this business is may take you overseas and um, it's going to be very enjoyable for you. Or maybe this is you and your partner enjoying time together going away. You're feeling like it's Paris for some of you. Now, you definitely have success coming. And even though you've had obstacles, um, I do feel like you will find your way around them. Definitely. Now, we'll just see what the outcome is for you here, Taurus. Just bear with me. I'm feeling you will nurture your soul by doing this. You'll find resources that you're going to be able to maintain. You're going to get that drive inside you to, to create this journey. Now there's going to be a lot of feelings that come up through the uh, lunar eclipse. But you're going to be practical about it. Now you will gain respect for whatever this vision is that uh, spirit has put into your thoughts or visions now you will um, be very productive and whatever this is if it's a business high status establishment it's going to result from productivity so whatever it is it may be you selling things to overseas or you going back and forth selling products or whatever it, the case may be or for some of you, if it is a honeymoon, it's going to be very successful. Maybe um, your partner is a successful business person. But it's about the collective good. It's an illusion and a dream that you've had. But trust in spirit. 
he's put it there for a reason so i hope this means something to you guys around the solar lunar eclipse uh, lunar uh, solar eclipse i should say and um be very grateful to hear whatever your comments are during this time bye for now